Hello guys, good evening. Uh, I am Dr. Sushil Patel of Orthopedics at DBMCI. But today we have got some wonderful personality for you, Dr. Chitrakshi. And she has got a rank 9 in this recently conducted AIMS exam, the AIMS November 2019. Right? So congratulations, Dr. Chitrakshi. Thank you. And we welcome you here. Thank so you. that you can guide all your juniors, all your colleagues, how it all started. Right? So guys, use this opportunity very well. We have got this amazing person with us and who can guide you really to just crack any of your exam. Okay? So, Chitrakshi, I would just like to, you know, first thing, first best thing that you have in your mind right now after cracking AMS, AIMS exam, how do you, how are you feeling? Okay, first thing, I would like to tell you that you should read just to feel like this. It's like the best feeling in the world and it's worth the hard work that I've put in to get this. So, you should, like, I prepare, I, I mean, the getting this rank is not just a one year thing you have to like keep reading throughout your mbbs but the main part was one year and i swear while preparing i was like bahut padna hai bahut padna hai bahut padna pad raha hai but right now what i'm feeling to get this feeling it was definitely worth it it was like i think i worked less because right now i'm feeling like elated i'm so happy i can't tell you okay so as you said you have to read all through your mbbs no so rank 9 so when did you started your preparation so my preparation for core PG preparation, I started in internship only. But uh, the AIMS exam is a kind that that that's going to test your clinical skills, what you did in the wards and everything. So our posting start in our third semester. So whatever you read throughout from then till now is going to be tested in your exam. But the core preparation which I started was at the beginning of my internship. Okay. So see guys, this is amazing. She started in internship. The core preparation, the basic preparation started in internship. And then even she got rank 9, right? So would you like to expand your details? Like how did you prepare the notes and how did you, you know, combine yes. everything? So the first thing is that I was a student of TND. Uh, the thing is that I did not have a course of action in mind. So how I was reading was according to how TNDs were going. So the most important thing is that, like I decided to follow the TND schedule. So I was like, agar anatomy ka TND hai, usme ye ye topics hai. So in this time, I have to finish it. So with the TND, once you should completely read your syllabus till at least like August or September. So once if you're done with the reading, you will collect all the notes. You will have an idea ki off tha yahan se padna anatomy yaha se padna hai to ek hamare paas resource collect ho jayega so that after that what you do is just revision and believe me your rank depends on the number of times you revise and not on how vast subjects you cover so you should have notes you should have books whatever you are reading by august or september you should have one resource for every subject and after that what you have to do is just revise revise and revise so that when you are giving the exam and you see a question it should not be like ye to maine padha tha par mujhe yaad nahi kyunki maine fir se revise nahi kiya so a very very important thing is to revise a lot before you give the exam so that whatever you have read you remember and you don't lose marks and stuff that you actually read before okay so message she conveyed is basically the quantity actually doesn't matter it's the quality and the quality you will get only once you start revising whatever you have read Source may be multiple, source may be many. For her, the source was TND, right? So she was utilizing the TNDs of this institute. So just to, you know, uh, just revise her preparation for the exams. Okay. So when you were doing the TNDs, you might have found some faculties that were good and they might have helped you. Yes, so uh, one thing is I am not very fond of anatomy, but the anatomy TNDs were so good. I never understood anatomy, I could never visualize anatomy, but his pictures were so good, his notes were so good that it made anatomy so easy for me. So I am a student of Vibe also along with TND and we have these visual image based uh, I mean, pictures were there. So before the exam in the morning, I just revised anatomy and went and I could answer three, four questions just because of that, which is a big game changer in like the top 50 ranks. So I think anatomy, sir, was very nice. Uh, I also like Derma TND notes a lot. His photos were very good. He covered all the previous year questions. So it was not like even if you missed on doing some AIMS questions, which are like very old, you knew that they would be covered in the TND. So you did not have to like go over. You, you, you don't have to read a lot of question papers because you know that sir would have covered them. Pathology TND was very good, especially the hemat part because uh, hemat is a little, like especially the neoplasm part is a little tricky but he made it very easy. So these three subjects I really, really liked. Okay. So after you were done with your TND, like uh, you were doing simultaneously all your course. Yes. You know? And then you attended Vibe. As you yes. Said. So how much you uh, think, how much role the vibe played in okay. the... Okay, uh, so recently yeah. AIMS ka pattern has changed completely. They're asking a lot of video based and image based questions. Anatomy, a lot of questions were like dissected muscles and all. They were asking what nerve is this, what muscle is this. 
so visual based uh, this thing w uh, vibe was very very important because uh, they just told us the photos and labeled them and that's the kind of questions that aims actually asked along with some important stuff related with it so in things like ophtha anatomy pathology it was very very useful because uh, i didn't have to go back to textbooks to like see the images like i know that robins is very important for pathology but i knew that sir's photos were from there only so i could rely on that okay. so i didn't have to go and see multiple textbooks like anatomy mein grey's anatomy se direct photos aate hain sir ke photos bhi wahi se the so i didn't have to go and open that big book grey's anatomy i could just see these and so, so basically uh, what you want to say what i can get from your uh, all this part what you said is that all the concise material was given to in the vibe session right yes uh, the video the image based image part based yes part definitely and it was given to you yes okay now one question which is in everybody's in mind right mm. now reading from the notes and then revising reading from the videos and then revising what do you suggest primarily can we okay, so uh, depend on the videos only So for me, I did not really do the videos, but there is always a confusion between reading review books and notes. Now your own handwritten notes are the most easiest to revise, and when there's one month left for the exam, you don't you have to revise 19 subjects. If you start reading review books again and again and again, it's going to take at least one or two days to complete one subject. So if you give two days to every subject, it's not possible for you to revise. And as I said before, revision is the most important thing. So handwritten notes, the the very advantage is that they're very quick to revise. Plus in the exam. when you seeing a question you know ye maine wahan par likha tha so you have a very good visual memory of the handwritten notes so that's how they are helpful plus aims exam ka pattern aisa hai ki they ask questions from very limited areas so if you try to like know everything then it's not going to be helpful which is initially why i used to read review books because i wanted to know everything but after a while i realized after giving some tests that aims does not ask questions from everywhere so what is required is to read those notes and uh, handwritten notes are very easy to revise it will take you like half a day for every subject which is very very helpful because revision is what is yeah. the key so basically revision don't take it as granted that i'll read everything it is going to take time so whatever you read at least revise that thoroughly right now chitrakshi was a part of our new uh, initiative that we started this year only and that is something known as super 30 group now i want chitrakshi to tell you all about what exactly super 30 and how she entered that super 30 group so uh, before i tell about super 30 i have to tell you the most important part like you have read theory that is important but you need to face tests before giving the exam so i gave a grand clt with bhatia and i got fifth rank that was the first time when i actually realized that i am capable of getting a single digit rank so giving tests will tell you one if you are capable of doing it two even if you don't get a very good rank you will realize where you stand and that will give you motivation to read more so the first clt i gave i got fifth rank and the top 30 people were a part of this uh, dbmci super 30 group so everyone's going to tell you that you should revise questions at the end which is the best advice you can ever get towards the last one or two months you just supposed to do previous year papers the questions tnd questions just revise everything so there will be a lot of questions where there will be a lot of controversies so some people are going to some app will say this some institute will say this so everyone will have different answers so dbmc i was helpful because i if i'm doing a question and i have a doubt i don't have to sit back on it so i can just ask someone and the faculty is a part of the group so they will reply as soon as possible with reference so even if i mean there might be i might think that this is not the answer but when they give it with the reference i have confidence that they're giving me the right answer and plus there are a lot of like top 30 people are ans asking questions so you're kind of covering all the important questions which might be in the minds of those top 30 people kind of revision for you also. yes yeah so basically let me tell you about super 30 she explained it very well so two things she conveyed to us to each of the students right what she said that giving test is one of the most important part to prepare for any of the prime examination either you are preparing for aims or pgi or neat or jitmer or the upcoming any of the other different pattern of exam so give test on regular basis that is the most important thing you have to do because if your mind is not trained to sit in the examination hall for 3 hours or 2 hours you can't do justice to your all the year that you have studied right so one important thing she conveyed very well what she has been doing she is a part of the test which are being given to you on every you know every fortnightly every sundays every monthly or uh, gcelts like that so be prepared for those tests and try to give the test maximum so when the people the students are giving the test the toppers from that test we pick up them up and we just add to our super 30 group that's a whatsapp group on that whatsapp group we have got all the 19 premier faculties and like she said there are so many controversies so many things where you get stuck that what is the answer somebody told me this and somebody told me that so what exactly is the answer so for that we have got the whatsapp group and all the toppers of those tests are being added to that whatsapp group 
Okay. So uh, basically, all in all, what she conveyed, be strict to your schedule. It's not a one-day game. It's basically starting from the day you enter your medical college and you realize that you have to crack a PG. She had that thing in the mind and she did it, right? So well-deserved rank 9. Whatever she has conveyed to you, we just stopped this session so that you can have her live, right? So she has created a history. She has written get uh, her, uh, her name in the aims, you know, that will be forever now. So history is created by her and definitely this is something very big that we should be proud of. Right? Thanks. So Chitrakshi, we are very proud of you. Thank you so much. Right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank All you so the much. best everyone.